everyone! Today, we're going to be learning about the properties of water and milk with three experiments. We will discuss surface tension using pepper and water, water's chemical properties using skittles and water, and fat mixtures with milk and food dye. The pepper and water experiment will require liquid soap, black pepper, water, and a plate or a bowl. Make sure that the plate or bowl is filled with enough water that at least the bottom is covered. Then, put as much pepper as you need to cover the entire surface. You can then take your finger or a clean q-tip and cover it in soap. Then you want to press it against the surface and see that all of the pepper will move from your finger. Now you might be wondering, why exactly does this happen? To understand why this works, you first have to understand surface tension. Surface tension keeps this bug from falling into the water and also keeps this water in one giant orb in the astronaut space station. Surface tension is also the reason why water droplets are shaped as they are. This property means that tiny water molecules stick together at the surface, which forms a thin film that the pepper and the small bug can rest on without falling in. Since there's no gravity in space, the water's thin film has a lot harder of a time breaking. For our next experiment, we are going to learn about the properties of concentration using water, skittles, a plate, and sugar. Fill your plate with enough water to just cover the entire surface, then add all of your skittles around the perimeter. You can arrange it in whatever color pattern that you would like. After a few minutes, you will see the colors forming and meeting in the middle. After the swirls have formed in the middle, you can now add sugar to the center of it. After you do this, the color of your swirls will now change. As you can see in the last picture, the swirls have started to disappear and mix together instead of being all separate colors. When sugar dissolves in water, it starts to move to an area in the water where there is less sugar. Skittles are covered in colored sugar, which is why the color dissolves into the water and moves to the center where there is no sugar. When you add the additional sugar to the center, the color will change because that sugar will cause the colored sugar to move away from the center. Our final experiment will be the colored milk experiment. You will need a q-tip, food coloring, soap, a plate, and milk. Fill your plate with enough milk to completely cover the bottom. Then, you can add a few drops of food coloring in the center. You can add whichever colors you would like, but make sure that you add more than one color to get the best results. You can then take your q-tip and dip the dry end into the center of the food dye. You will notice that the colors do not change at all. Then take the other side of your q-tip, cover it in soap, and then press it into the center. You'll notice that the colors will start to move away, creating colorful patterns all over your plate. The reason why this happens is that in normal milk, the fat and water in it do not mix. They're in what's called a suspension, which means that the bits of fat float around in the water part of the milk. That's why when you touch the normal q-tip to the colors, nothing happened. But once you added the soap, it connects the fat and the water particles. When the fat and the water start to connect with the soap, the soap has to move quickly around the milk in order to connect as many particles as it can. That makes all of the colors move rapidly around in circles. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys took something away from this. Remember, you can find signs in everything. Thank you guys, and have a good day.